Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's fix this busy background so that the frog stands out. I'll start by selecting the Object Selection tool, and then click on the frog in order to select it. I'll use Command-J on Mac or Control-J on Windows in order to copy the frog to its own layer. Then I'll target the background layer and tap the L key to select the lasso tool. I'll select this first bright area on the left-hand side of the image, and then use the contextual taskbar to select Generative Fill, and then Generate. Photoshop creates three variations that we can choose from. I can see each of these by clicking in the contextual taskbar or on the Properties panel. Here, I'll select the one that I want to use, and to keep the file size down, I'll delete the other two variations. With the Lasso tool still selected, I'll then select this larger area that I also want to fill. This time, instead of using the contextual taskbar, I'll use the Properties panel and choose Generate. I'll click through the different options and then delete the variations that I don't want. Then we'll use Command-1 to zoom in or Control-1 to zoom in on Windows. We can see that I need to add grain to the generative fill area, so I'll select Filter and then Camera Raw Filter. I'll zoom in so that I'm viewing this at 100% and then I'll use the grain options in order to increase the amount of grain and match both the size as well as the roughness. I'll go ahead and apply that. And then holding down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows, I'll drag the Camera Raw filter from this generative fill layer to copy it to all other generative fill layers. Then I'll add a new layer Tap S to select the Clone Stamp tool, hold down the Option or Alt key to set my sample point, and then clone over any areas that the generative fill expanded around the frog. I'll use Command-0 in order to zoom out, and hold down the Option or the Alt key to click on the icon to toggle the visibility of all of the other layers so that we see before and after.